Hey guys, so the M.3 beta has been out now for a while and I played the first weekend and now the second weekend. I can honestly say you shouldn't waste your money on this overpriced DLC because that's what it is. They can say it's M.3 but everybody knows it's just a reskin of M.2 with old maps and some new movement. They said that at the beginning of M.2 that they were going to bring back the old original maps from Modern Warfare 2 because M.2 was going to be a two year game however that completely flopped. So they had to take a different approach to it so they just called it Modern Warfare 3 and draw the community in by bringing back old maps so that they get the nostalgia feeling. This game literally is just an M.2 DLC and they are charging their fans $70 to buy it which is bullshit man. People are getting drawn in by being able to slide cancel and the fact that it's old maps. Literally that's all that has changed. Look man, don't get me wrong, the game was fun for like the first 5 matches I played, then the skill based matchmaking kicked in, and it felt like every game I was playing was against these G fuel snorting Twitch TV kids going absolutely crazy. The SBM in this game is juiced up to the absolute max. I don't think we've had a COD where the SBM is this strong. Forget about having a chilled game with your mates because you literally have to play pubs like you're playing a ranked play match. I mean shit, what's the point of even having public matches at this point? Just put ranks into pubs and be done with it. The problem with skill based matchmaking is that the casuals are the ones that suffer because all the tryhards, the sweats and content creators know how to work around it so they can get bot lobbies. I mean do you honestly think Korean Savage, Swag, Pro, MVZ aren't reverse boosting in some way? Shit, even the King of COD, Optic Scum was doing a form of reverse boosting for his new gameplay. People just don't realize it. There is a reason all of these content creators can drop back to back nukes like it's absolutely nothing. It's because they're playing against little Timmies playing COD for the first time with no idea how to play. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying these content creators are bad or anything, but I am saying do you honestly think they would be able to drop back to back to back nukes every game if they were playing in their normal lobbies? No, they wouldn't be able to. So why is SBMM a thing if all it does is make the casuals that want to just have a chill time playing some COD after work or school just suffer? So why is SBM a thing if all it does is make the casuals suffer? The people that want to have a chill time playing some COD after school or work. Why should they have to suffer when all the tryhards, all the sweats, know how to work around SBMM? Why not just get rid of SBM in pubs and just leave it in ranked? Because that's what public matches are for, a casual experience. And that's what ranked is for, it's for people that want to sweat and climb to the highest rank that they can to test their abilities and challenge themselves. I'm going to be showing you all the methods on how these content creators are reverse boosting and there are several methods in future videos. So if you want to see these methods, make sure you drop a fat like and subscribe to the channel. And don't think reverse boosting only works in multiplayer because it's just as big in Warzone as well. Now don't get me wrong, the game is fun, it's just skill based matchmaking ruins it, especially for casuals. And man, they need to fix spawns ASAP because I'm getting annoyed of spawning, walking three steps forward and an enemy just spawns where I did and shoots me in the back. That shit is so deflating and frustrating, like how long have we been doing this? Surely by now they've figured out how spawns should work. Like why is this still a problem, year after year? This game literally has all the potential in the world but it's just ruined by Activision and the game will probably get worse as the game goes on because I bet you they will start adding in pay to win bundles and it's only a matter of time. We see it every year and this year won't be different man. Look I hope you guys enjoy and peace out.